His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the heads of delegations, participating in the preparatory meetings of the Economic and Social Council of the Arab League on the level of the 33rd Arab Summit, which is being held under the presidency of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment, led by His Majesty the King, to support Arab efforts to enhance comprehensive economic and social integration and coordination to address the changes in the global economy, thereby contributing to achieving economic growth. His Royal Highness underscored the importance of ongoing progress and development across all sectors, particularly the economic and social sectors, to achieve the joint aspirations and visions of forward-thinking Arab leaders. His Royal Highness welcomed the heads of delegations to the Kingdom and wished them success in achieving the goals and aspirations of the meeting. His Royal Highness stressed the economy, along with security and fairness, are essential pillars for development. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of continuing to build on developmental achievements and joint efforts by further strengthening strategic partnerships to achieve the aspirations of Arab countries and their people. For their part, the heads of the delegations expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness for his unwavering commitment and support in advancing collective Arab efforts. They commended the efforts of Bahrain in hosting and organising the 33rd Arab Summit, wishing the Kingdom further progress and development. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Singapore, the Honourable Sundaresh Menon at Rafa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of further consolidating Bahrain standing in the sector of commercial courts by adopting initiatives and plans to further the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness underscored the International Commercial Court's prominent role in fostering an environment that facilitates global investment by implementing regulations and laws that contribute to an integrated system for settling international commercial disputes following best international practices and standards. His Royal Highness highlighted the mutual commitment between the two countries to further Bahrain and Singapore relations and multi-sectoral collaboration, particularly in commercial arbitration, and the settlement of international commercial disputes. This includes the recently signed treaty to establish an international commercial court to settle commercial disputes across national borders and the establishment of a specialised appellate body in Singapore to review the appeals of the rulings of the International Commercial Court. His Royal Highness emphasised the importance of this treaty in furthering collaboration between the two countries to achieve mutual aspirations. For his part, the Honourable Sundaresh Menon expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering bilateral relations and wished the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Chairman of the UAE Office of Development and Martyrs Families Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Thayyab bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, and their accompanying delegation, upon his arrival in Bahrain, to offer condolences on behalf of the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, and the demise of the Head of the Military Office of His Majesty the King. The Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Sheikh Abdullah bin Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Thayyab bin Mohammed conveyed the condolences of His Highness the President of the UAE to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Nasser conveyed the thanks and appreciation of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to His Highness the President of the UAE. His Highness expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Thayyab bin Mohammed and the accompanying delegation for their noble sentiments, playing to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. 
His Highness Sheikh Nasser accompanied His Highness Sheikh Thayyab to the funeral location where he offered his condolences. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bid His Highness Sheikh Thayyab and the accompanying delegation farewell upon the departure from the kingdom. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Ziyani, received the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abel Ghait, and the accompanying delegation on the occasion of his participation in the 33rd Arab Summit in Bahrain and the preparatory ministerial meetings for Arab Foreign Ministers, Minister of Finance and National Economy. The Minister welcomed the Secretary General and affirmed His Majesty the King's keenness and all the efforts that are taken to organise a successful summit and achieve its goals. He praised the relentless efforts of the General Secretariat with the cooperation of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the concerned authorities to prepare for the summit, ensuring its success. He also affirmed Bahrain's pride in hosting the summit in light of the extraordinary circumstances the Arab region is witnessing due to the Israeli aggression on the Gaza Strip and its implications on security and regional stability. For his part, the Arab League Secretary General expressed pleasure to visit Bahrain stressing joint coordination and cooperation in completing the necessary procedures to prepare for the convening of this historic summit, expressing his confidence in Bahrain's capabilities on ensuring its success and reaching its aspirated outcomes to enhance joint Arab action. During the meeting, the summit's agenda was discussed in addition to the ongoing preparations performed by Bahrain and the Arab League General Secretariat to guarantee its success. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, delivered a speech during the preparatory meeting of the Economic and Social Council at the ministerial level for the 33rd regular session of the Council of the Arab League at the summit level held in Bahrain, with the participation of the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Ghaith, and a number of Arab finance ministers. During his speech, the Minister of Finance expressed pride in their attendance of the meeting which coincides with the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. He expressed appreciation for the efforts of Saudi Arabia in hosting the previous meeting of the Council and for the resulting initiatives, expressing thanks to Secretary General of the Arab League and all the affiliates of the General Secretariat for their efforts in preparing the meetings. The Minister asserted that Bahrain's hosting of the meeting affirms the support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to joint Arab action and all that enhances Arab solidarity and the development process to achieve a prosperous future for Arab countries. 
He affirmed that Arab cooperation and enhancing social and economic integration will achieve the aspirations of the future generations for growth and prosperity. He added that Bahrain's hosting of this meeting affirms the support of His Majesty and His Royal Highness of Joint Arab Action, Arab Solidarity, to achieve a prosperous and sustainable future. The minister added that current global challenges are call for concerted joint efforts to enhance economic and social integration in the region by supporting infrastructure, transportation, energy and food security projects that enhance economic capacity and raise the level of Arab integration. He stressed the necessity of immediate and urgent intervention to deliver humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip and prevent the expansion of military operations and the repercussions on civilians to preserve regional security, peace and stability and working with the Arab countries and with international partners to overcome the deteriorating humanitarian situation in Palestine and support the just, lasting and comprehensive peace process in the Middle East by ensuring that the brotherly Palestinian people obtain their legitimate rights. He expressed confidence that Arab cooperation and enhancing economic and social integration will achieve prosperity and development. He wished everyone success to strengthen joint Arab efforts to achieve integration and support common issues and regional stability and promoting sustainable development paths. During the meeting, a number of topics on the economic and social agenda were discussed, in addition to ways to enhance and develop Arab cooperation in various fields, especially with regard to priority, social, economic and development projects and programmes. The Finance and National Economy Minister, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Finance in Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Jadan. On the sidelines of the preparatory meetings of the Arab League's Economic and Social Council ahead of the 33rd Arab Summit to be held in Bahrain. Sheikh Salman emphasised the strength of the long-standing historical bilateral ties between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia that continue to develop with the support of His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques. He added that the joint efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia has significantly contributed to advancing cooperation and coordination between the two kingdoms. Sheikh Salman underscored the commitment of His Majesty the King to supporting all efforts to successfully host the 33rd Arab Summit and contribute to achieving its goals. The meeting reviewed bilateral cooperation, particularly in the financial and economic sectors. It also touched on current financial and economic developments on regional and international levels and topics of common interest. For his part, the Saudi Finance Minister thanked Sheikh Salman for the keenness to enhance cooperation and coordination and wished Bahrain success in hosting the 33rd Arab Summit. The Minister of Finance and National Economy also met with the Minister of National Economy of Palestine, Mohammed Yusuf Mohammed. The minister reviewed the strong historical relations between Bahrain and Palestine and means to further develop them in various fields, including in economic, financial and trade sectors. He affirmed the keenness of His Majesty the King to ensure the success of the 33rd Arab Summit. The Palestinian minister wished Bahrain success in hosting the 33rd Arab Summit, expressing confidence that it will contribute to supporting the Arab process. The Minister of Finance and National Economy also met the Lebanese Minister of Economy and Trade, Amin Ghazi Salam. The Minister reviewed the existing relations between the Kingdom and Lebanon that are developing at all levels, especially with regards to the financial, economic and commercial fields. He pointed out the importance of continuing to work in developing these relations towards further cooperation and joint coordination for the benefit of both countries. He also stressed the keenness of His Majesty the King to host the 33rd Arab Summit to achieve its desired goals. For his part, the Lebanese Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister for his keenness to develop cooperation and bilateral relations, praising the efforts of Bahrain in hosting the Arab Summit, 
which contributes to strengthening joint Arab action towards further integration at various levels to achieve common goals and aspirations. The Minister of Finance and National Economy received the Minister of Finance and Economic Planning of Sudan, Gibral Ibrahim. Sheikh Salman reviewed the ties and cooperation between Bahrain and Sudan across various sectors, particularly in the financial and economic domains. He underscored the importance of continuing to work towards strengthening these relations to serve common interests. He stressed the keenness of His Majesty the King to support all efforts to successfully host the 33rd Arab Summit to achieve the desired goals. The Sudanese minister lauded the efforts of Bahrain to host the 33rd Arab Summit and its contributions to advancing joint Arab action towards greater integration. The Under Secretary for Financial Affairs at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, Yusuf Al Hamoud, chaired the senior officials' meeting of the Economic and Social Council in preparation for the 33rd Arab Summit. He welcomed the officials and all participants to the meeting, wishing them a pleasant stay in Bahrain. He also expressed thanks to Saudi Arabia for the efforts during the Kingdom's presidency of the Council of the Arab League at the summit level in the previous session. He thanked all the staff of the General Secretariat for their efforts in preparing for the current meeting. The meeting reviewed important topics at economic and social levels, as well as ways to strengthen and develop joint Arab cooperation in various domains. The royal speech of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa during the 32nd Arab Summit affirmed the support of Bahrain for every effort to achieve peace, stability and prosperity. More in this report. A comprehensive speech that conveyed the values of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its vision drawn up by His Majesty the King for the sake of the Arab world and its people, delivered during the 32nd Arab Summit which was held last year, during which His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's support for all efforts to achieve peace, stability and prosperity. His Majesty the King's speech affirmed that they fall within the visions of the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed the promising signs of a renewed and balanced regional system through solutions to Arab and regional issues. His Majesty the King also stressed that the history values human resources, strategic location and the diverse natural resources are the foundations of the Arab world and added that achieving peace requires strengthening Arab integration. His Majesty stressed the importance of renewing strategic partnerships with allied and friendly countries, confronting terrorism and stopping wars and threats from weapons of mass destruction to achieve prosperity and a stable region in which the values of human coexistence and religious and civilizational rapprochement flourish. His Majesty the King always includes many different aspects in his royal speeches to convey the message of the Kingdom of Bahrain not only to the Arab world but the world as a whole. In preparation for the Arab summit, the streets of the Kingdom of Bahrain were decorated with pictures of the leaders of Arab countries and their flags, and in addition to banners, welcoming the country's guests. This comes at a time when the Kingdom of Bahrain has completed all logistical procedures and preparations ahead of the summit being held in the Kingdom for the first time on the 16th of May. Bahrain provided all the conditions to receive the guests in accordance with the exceptional nature of the event. The Bahrain Summit is an important Arab event in light of the circumstances and challenges that are taking place in the region and the necessity of reaching constructive decisions that contribute to strengthening Arab solidarity and supporting efforts to bring peace and security to the region. The official logo for the 33rd meeting of the Council of the Arab League, known as the Bahrain Summit, was approved. The logo is a combination of the logo of the Royal Crown in gold and the logo of the Arab League.
The chairman of the Omani Shura Council, Sheikh Khaled Amauli, received the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Ab al Asumi. The chairman of the Omani Shura Council affirmed that Bahrain's hosting the 33rd Arab Summit comes as confirmation of His Majesty the King's wise approach in promoting a joint Arab action, consolidating its bonds and preserving the security and stability of the region as a whole. Through his balanced foreign policy, in light of Bahrain's presidency of the Arab Summit, which comes at a very important time for the Arab countries as a result of the challenges and accelerating events. Amauli praised His Majesty the King's support for Gulf and Arab integration within the framework of the GCC and Bahrain's presidency of the current Arab Summit. The joint working group between the governments of Bahrain and Singapore held a coordination meeting as part of the consultations to develop mechanisms for implementing the bilateral agreement to establish the Bahrain International Commercial Court. The agreement also included the establishment of a specialised appellate body in Singapore to consider appeals of rulings issued by the court. The agreement is a reflection of the level of progress of Bahraini-Singaporean relations and the two countries' keenness to deepen cooperation in all fields in a manner that contributes to achieving the common interests of the two countries. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning and the Ministry of Social Development began procedures to provide temporary housing for families living in the residential building that caught fire yesterday evening in the Alausi area. Until the relevant authorities complete the investigations, limit the damage to the residential apartments and the common areas of the building and restore electrical power. The Minister of Social Development, Usama al and the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna al made an inspection visit to the temporary housing. During the visit, the families were reassured that they will be provided with the necessary support until they return to their homes after completing the necessary procedures and securing the building. It was also emphasised that all necessary steps will be taken to address the effects of the fire. The Ministry of Housing and the Ministry of Social Development headed directly to the site of the accident immediately after receiving the report of the fire, followed up on the families affected by the fire and took all necessary measures to provide temporary housing for all families living in the building and move them there immediately until the competent authorities allow them to return to their apartments. The civil defence teams extinguished a fire in the eighth floor residential building in the Alousi area. Four individuals, a man, a child and two women have died in the fire. The team has rescued 20 tenants and they are in stable condition. The National Ambulance offered first aid to several of them at the site. The operations room of the General Directorate of Civil Defence carried out rescue operations with seven firefighting vehicles and 48 personnel. An investigation was launched to determine the cause of the fire. A solar energy project agreement was signed to transform the Royal University for Women into the first site in Bahrain to operate on clean energy as part of the Kingdom's 2030 vision to reduce carbon emissions. The signing ceremony was attended by the Minister of Electricity and Water, Yasser Humadan, and the President of the University, Dr Riyad Hamza. The agreement was signed with the UAE's a Positive Zero to establish and operate a photovoltaic solar energy project on the university campus with a production capacity of 3.75 megawatts. The project is expected to be operational later this year. Humadan affirmed that the Ministry's General Directorate of Energy Efficiency is keen to provide the necessary technical consultations and support to contribute to the implementation of sustainable energy transformation plans and to adopt investment initiatives in renewable energy resources to achieve national goals. 
Dr Hamza said that the project is a tangible embodiment of the university's commitment to protecting the environment and preserving energy sources. The Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates International Nurses Day to highlight the efforts of nursing cadres that serve patients in all health sectors within the framework of achieving the goals of comprehensive health coverage. In honour and appreciation of the tireless contributions of nursing staff to healthcare, the World Health Organisation adopted May the 12th each year as International Nurses Day. Bahrain has paid considerable attention to the nursing staff as they are an essential pillar in the health sector and play a prominent role in serving citizens and residents and the health sector's development and modernisation.